When you get out of bed, you wanna get morning light exposure. When you get light exposure, going out and watching the sunrise, for example, that actually tells your circadian rhythm within all the cells of your body, your clock genes, okay, it's morning time, so roughly 14, 16 hours from now, I'm going to sleep. I'm gonna go you know, get rest and I'm gonna go to sleep. And so it starts to set the circadian rhythm, set the clock in your brain and in your body about when the optimal sleep time is for you going forward, right? Going as, as you advance throughout the day. Also, there's an ancient proverb that says, if you wanna have great energy during the day and you wanna sleep great at night, right? Watch the sun rise in the morning and watch the sun set at night. And there's a lot of truth in that because at sunrise, you have really high levels of red and infrared light exposure. That red and infrared help to program those clock genes. They also help to activate mitochondrial melatonin levels. So all the melatonin, which helps protect your mitochondria within all the cells of your body, gets activated when it's exposed to the red and infrared light. And that's when it's at its highest, right? The red and infrared, sunrise and sunset. Throughout the day, you're also getting UVA, UVB, which is great for your circadian rhythm as well. It gives you more wakefulness throughout the day and also has other beneficial effects. Of course, vitamin D production being you know, one of the keys. So getting sun exposure throughout the day is great, but certainly for your circadian rhythm, getting it in the morning and then getting it in the evening can be really key. And there's actually research about that red and infrared light helping improve sleep quality. And so going out, watching the sunset, it's not gonna be the blue light. It's the red and infrared that you're being exposed to. That's really calming on your body, anti-inflammatory on your body and stimulates the, the starts the stimulation of the melatonin to help you sleep well. Now, after sunset, you wanna make sure you dim the lights in your house, right? Dim everything, you don't want bright lights on, you don't wanna be in areas where there's a lot of bright light. That's telling your brain it's daytime and we want something, we wanna tell our brain it's nighttime so we can start producing melatonin. So dim all the lights, you can also get orange colored light bulbs, which are you know putting out more of that reddish hue the orange reddish hue, which is similar to fire, right? And so our ancestors would have been exposed to fire at night. They weren't exposed to all the blue light that we are from electronics and uh, you know full spectrum lighting and things like that. They were exposed to fire and that has less of a melatonin blunting effect, right? So it allows us to continue to produce melatonin even though we're exposed to that light. So if we need to use our device or we wanna do other things, read, stuff like that, we have that, we have a light source, but it's not blunting and inhibiting melatonin, our major sleep hormone. It's not blunting its production. So that's key.